Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Obviously, at that time, the WBC didn't mandate, uh, that wasn't mandated at that time. What made you want to, you know, let it be known to the world? Because you've never been shy to inside of the ring, but yeah. outside of the ring, very humble and respectful dude. Well, you, you guys never see what goes on behind the closed doors, you know, so I, I have been speaking to multiple people for, for some time, you know, trying to push the, you know, to make that fight happen with the WBC, and then, you know, I finally, again, saw the opportunity to, to actually get in the ring and, 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 you know, make my voice be heard, and, uh, you know, so I did it. And, uh, and as respectfully and, and humbly as possible. Absolutely. Um, but also, um, you know, as loud as possible, and it was fun. Absolutely. Now, you have known Danny for a very long time. Uh, you both have followed each other's career. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you both have followed each other's career. What do you think will be your biggest challenge when you step into that ring September the 8th? Um, I, I know that I have to take away any belief that he has that he can beat me. Um, once that's done, uh, the rest will take care of itself. I'm, I'm just, I'm a better fighter than he is. I'm a better boxer than he is. And, um, you know, I, I have more uh, fight in me than he does. And I think that, you know, once I take that away from him, let him realize that he can't beat me, that I'm better than him, and the rest will just play out. Now, Sean, obviously you guys main event as it should be. Uh, I'm hearing uh, Darrell and Benavidez possibly co-main event. You think maybe we could get Crazy Angel and uh, Kenny Porter here to open up, open up the uh, the telecast? No, no. My dad is too smart for that. My dad is not going to take away from from our focus, and uh, you know our, our game plan is to, is to is to demolish, to beat down Danny Garcia and win that championship. Angel uh, will not be. He won't have any, any 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 say in that at all. No, Kenny, what'd you just say? It's a DG. What, what's that stand for? Destroy Danny. Destroy Danny. Destroy, destroy Garcia. Now, yeah. now, now, Kenny, uh, yeah. as Sean's father, but uh, more so, his trainer inside of the ring. What do you want to see, and what would you expect to see out of him come fight night? You know, I just expect him to to raise his levels up, like when he fought Keith Thurman, and uh, take it to another level. When, when 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 guys are pushed like that, like Keith was pushed, you know, um, the true intestinal fortitude is shown, and so you know that became, as Sean said, an instant classic. We expect to see an instant classic this on the September eighth as well. Now, now I'm gonna have to ask you to stop asking so many questions because you like one back of the other. Give me one more and we, all right, we good, we good. And, and, and you know what? I love you. I know who you are. Don't play me. Don't play me. I know exactly who you are. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Sean Porter. Boxing Ego. Yeah. If you want to be part of the gang gang, here notification we go. gang. Here, here we go. Yes. Um, I listen to, I watch. I do that. I don't I appreciate pay attention to you, big dog. I'm a, I don't he pay don't even pay his taxes, man. He ain't paying nothing. He get his hair done different. Yeah. <laughs> Start acting different. Good to see you, man. I'm gonna make sure you got my new number, all right? I'll talk to you soon. Okay. You still have the same number, right? Okay. Okay. Talk to you soon. The Porter's Is that reaction. Brent Musburger? Porter's reaction to what we've seen tonight, main event, Mikey Garcia. Another level for Mikey. Mikey was on another level. The other kid um, is a great fighter. He's a great fighter as well. Um, He's just, you know, he, he he wasn't he wasn't right there with Mikey, and Mikey pretty much was in control the whole night. But uh, he'll come back from this. Do you have any add-ons, Sean? Uh, yeah, wow. Um, Danny or uh, uh, Mikey is um, he's just a great fighter. He's a great fighter. Yeah, he gets in the ring, and you know, you, you see it. Yeah, you see his focus. You see his little bounce, his rhythm. Uh, he he really did. He looked great tonight, and and against a very formidable opponent. And, and uh, Robert Easter. And, uh, you know, I expected the fight to be more competitive than it was. And, um, you know, when you can get in the ring and make it look that easy, uh, that means that you're something else. And, uh, Mike, congratulations to Mike. What are your thoughts on him potentially moving up to challenge like an Errol Spence? That's his big, like, in, in game or whatnot. I saw that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you know, he's a champion. I think he could be a champion in any weight class. It just depends on who he's fighting against. Uh, you talk about the top guys at welterweight, 
it's gonna be it's not gonna be an easy night for him like it was tonight. Not to say that you know Robert didn't you know put up a fight, but it's just it's a it's a different different pace. It's a different game. Uh, you know, you come up to that level, you're really at a at a high level. There's different dogs up there. There's different, different dogs. dogs up there. These ain't your these ain't no lab dogs up there at 47. And these ain't the dogs barking at you when you at the door. These are the ones real quiet and just tear you to pieces when you come in the house. So no, it's different levels. And 47 is a is a big jump for anyone. But uh it looks like if anybody could do it, he could. Again, I agree with Sean. It depends on who he's taking on. And you, if you, if you hollering out uh, Errol Spencer's name, you, you know, you kind of like poking a bear. <laughs> now I talked to you guys in Las Vegas on the track, and you were trying to get the Danny Garcia fight at that time. That was a little oh, wow. while ago. Yeah. How does it feel that it's finally here, official announced? And you you can start your camp. I'm happy about it, man. Um, camp has been started, and you know, uh, to me, the great greatest part about it is I don't have long to wait. You know, so um, the waiting game is done. Everything has been announced, solidified. Uh, we're gonna go out to New York tomorrow, make some noise it's on Monday, and uh, have fun with it. And uh, September 8th is when it goes down. What was it that made you set your sights on Danny Garcia specifically? Because it's, it's been brewing longer than people it's know. It's been brewing, yeah. I, I mean, I, I would say maybe overall, you know, when you when you look at another fighter and you know, you know, if I had that if I had that chance, that opportunity, I really let him know, you know, what 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 boxing is, you know. So I think maybe that's kind of where it started. Me just kind of feeling like, you know, I'm, I was a better boxer, and uh, you know, if given the opportunity, I would show it. And uh, you know, I started trying to make that fight happen, and you know, now it's here. I gotta get your response and also Kenny, I wanna hear what he has to say. Keith Thurman, when he relinquished his belt or his WBC belt, did that surprise you? Cause I know me and you had conversations and you, you just, you wanted to know what's up with the rematch cause you guys were next in line. You guys fought through eliminator after eliminator to get that opportunity. And then yeah. it seemed like, I don't know, Keith Thurman had other plans. So were you guys surprised? I wasn't surprised um, for him to be as quiet as he was. And you know, when I when I talked to him the night that I spoke to him, it was actually the same night as the Danny Garcia versus Brandon Rios fight. I just want the answers. When when are we when are we gonna fight? When are you gonna fight? What's going on with the belts? Stop holding them hostage, you know. And I think that, you know, after a while of, you know, him doing what he was doing, you know, essentially not fighting and, you know, not really saying when he was gonna fight, you know, something's gotta give. And uh, you know, I think he felt it best to let go of that WBC. And uh, to me, it's a blessing. Is it true that he lost the WBA as well? Pacquiao just fought for, for it. Yeah, it says super on the belt. Okay. But on Instagram, the WBA said Keith Thurman is still a champion, so okay. no one's really clarified. Okay, okay, okay. No, I mean, you know, oh. Um, as far as that, I know, you know, um, we were persistent and uh, we did everything we could to make people take notice of the fact that uh, he wasn't you know, stepping up to take the fight with us and that we had fought two mandatories to get to him. So at some point in time, the powers that people, the people in position, we had conversations and they had to make some kind of decisions. And uh, that's the way, it, that's the way it played itself out. We moving forward with Danny. Now your last fight, you had suffered an injury. How's that recovery? Everything's good. Everything's good. Um, you know, all the x-rays, everything came back negative, you know, so it was just, one of those situations where, you know, felt a little tweak and something wasn't right, but, you know, we rested it, did everything we needed to do, so we're ready. What separates you from other fighters in terms of you're taking it off of an injury or a fight where you sustain an injury, you're taking the Danny Garcia championship fight, and it's like this after fight after fight. Hey, man, um, I'm a fighter. I'm a competitor. I love what I do. I love the night, you know. Um, I love the night of the fight. That's the best part, you know, so. For me to get in the ring, it doesn't matter who it is. You know, as long as the, the stadium is full, uh, I'm a happy camper, and I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm capable of, and, and I, I let the rest play out, man. I love it. What are your thoughts on Bud's debut at Welterweight? He looked good. He looked great. I expected that from Bud. Uh, Bud is the real deal. He's He always has been, and uh, again, like, you know, You told me he tried Thurman. to see you outside or something. Oh, yeah. Me, me, me and Bud go way back. <laughs> And uh, if someone was to jump off and I was in the same room, the same place with Bud, I'd be right there with him. But, uh, you know, Keith Thurman, Bud Crawford, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, this is 
what's going down right now. These guys need to make each other great. We want to fight those guys. And then it's it for us. You know, I, I don't want to see him fighting, you know, anyone else other than these guys. And I don't want to see him, after he fights these guys, you know, sticking around because, you know, this is, this is his time. This is his prime. All of those guys are 30 years old. It's their prime, 20, 28, 29, 30 years old. It's their prime. So this is what they should be doing. This is what we're looking forward to, getting all of them. Final message from the Porter, September 8th. What can the fans expect? It's showtime. Simple as that. I'm ready. All right. Thank you, guys, as always. Thank you. Box the Eagle with the Porters. Thank you. Thank you.